Hey guys, uh, recently I've had a uh, backend related issue when uploading a new SSL in Google Cloud for App Engine in settings. When I tried to upload a new one, I got this message, you're not an authorized owner of the domain for this certificate and uh, I couldn't figure out what was the issue because uh, Everything seemed to be like I was. Uh, I verified my uh, site or domain ownership, and uh, I'm gonna show you some clues that will point you out that uh, you have an issue with that. So when you open App Engine settings and uh, open in uh, custom domains, if you hover over the delete button, you see that you don't have permission to remove this domain. This means that uh, yeah, the message says here which means that I'm not the owner of this domain. And now I'm gonna show you how can uh, we fix that. So if you open uh, Webmaster Central verification page, uh, you're gonna see the properties that you verified or added. And uh, I'm having this property, HTTP myhexel.com. Let's say it's uh, the this domain, right? So everything seems to be verified. I'm having my domain in the Webmaster Central, but still I'm not an owner of uh, this domain in uh, Google Cloud. And the issue here is that how you verify this property. So when you edit, you m could have added a your website via just domain name, but uh, from what you see here, it adds the HTTP in the beginning anyway. And uh, there are two different types, at least that I know, for Google property verification. One is site and the other one is domain name. And depending on which type you, of verification you choose, you determine which one is gonna be. So if you choose uh, some of those, uh, like HTML tag or maybe uh, those, you'll have a site verification ownership. But to be a domain, owner you need to select this one and uh, select uh, one if of those if if you have uh, any of those as your domain name providers or if you don't see any here just choose other and follow those instructions so you need to open your domain name provider and uh, just add this uh, string as a text record to DNS I'm pretty sure that uh, all domain name providers are gonna have some tutorial on uh, how to add uh, text properties. So once you've added it, you can click verify. And if it's verified, then you're gonna see this as your property without any HTTP at the beginning, which means that you're you now you're a domain owner verified uh, for Google. But uh, let's say if you got an uh, error here saying that it couldn't verify, but uh, you double check that you successfully added this string to text DNS. Then you can go to this website and double check if your if this uh, text property is uh, live by entering your domain name. And uh, look in here for uh, this string. If you see it here and uh, Webmaster Central still failed it. Then it means that Google is using some cached uh, DNS, and you need to, and you can manually flush it by going to this website. All the links I'm gonna save in the description, and uh, selecting text type and entering your domain name. After it flushed, you can click verify again, and uh, most likely it will verify you as a domain owner. And that's basically it. So once again, if you see your website domain in Webmaster Central as uh, appended with uh, HTTP or HTTPS, then it means that you're a site owner, not a domain owner. And if you see just the domain name itself, then it means that you're a domain owner. And now you can uh, upload SSL certificates here from the selected Google account that you logged in, in here. Right, all the links you can find in the description and click like if you liked it, uh, subscribe and I'll talk to you later.